Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. So tonight, well, frankly, I've come across a bottle of bourbon that has changed my world. Uh, I drink a lot of whiskey here on the channel. You know this. I get a hold of a lot of bottles, a lot of samples they all generously send. And frankly, I've now gotten a bottle that is just, it's overpowered. It, the value to quality, to price, to what's in there, it's a game changer. And I'm really not just saying that because I want you to click on this video and watch this video. It is one of the most overpowered bourbons that I've ever had. And by that, I mean the, what you get for the price is ungodly. It is insane. Now I've got a whole bunch of other stuff over here that we're going to compare to this new bottle that has changed. I mean, it's honestly, it changes the game in bourbon in a lot of ways, because if you haven't had this, I highly recommend you race out and get a bottle because it's ridiculous, like otherworldly ridiculous. If you end up enjoying this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Now, the first bottle that I wanted to compare against this new bottle is Early Times Bottle and Bond. This is one of the screw top ones. Fantastic. This is a great, great bottle of whiskey when you can find them. They are supposedly maybe not making them anymore. I never quite believe that, but we'll see. It's just delicious. Caramel, little vanilla kind of a dry vanilla, a little bit of a carrot cake with some frosting on top on the nose. On the palate, you get this really nice rich mouthfeel, just a very, very faintest little bit of like a, an almond, like a toasted almond. Nice caramel, nice vanilla, solid mouthfeel. For 20 bucks, this bottle, this thing, this was one of my, like what I would call great value bottles that you could ever get a hold of. This thing is fantastic, 100 proof, early times bottled and bond. Fantastic, fantastic bottle. This doesn't compare. Next one I wanted to compare it to, JTS Brown. This is the 100 proof bottled and bond. This is like a $17 bottle. This thing is cheap. Granted, there's, you know, it's limited, you know, the, the distribution of it's a little wonky. You can't get it everywhere. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful bottle though for the price. And this, I would have said, would have been a great competitor as far as value, quality, everything else. This one is a little bit bolder, a little more spice on the nose. You get some black pepper, some honey little bit of brown sugars and some spices. On the palate, you get a little bit of kind of a dried barrel, little bit of grain, nice caramel, nice honey. The caramel, the cereal grains are not overdone at all. Very, very sippable, nice, bold. At 100 proof, this drinks a little hotter than this one in my opinion, but it also comes across just a little bit more bold, a little more character. Is it better? This one's a little sweeter, this one's a little more spicy. Still, does not compare to this new bottle. Now, the next bottle that I thought might be a comparison, maybe it would be be comparable, Cooper's Craft. I know this brown form and product is a little bit hard to find in some places, but it is one of our favorites. They do some special, uh, in, you know, special uh, grooving in the barrel to make it extra. It's not quite a toasted, but uh, it has a lot of similar qualities to some of the nice toasted and double oaks. Not quite as prominent. Very, very sweet on the nose. Lots of caramel, honey, some nougat and chocolate. Very, very beautiful. The palate is chewy, it's sweet, it's easy sipping. Tons of caramel, toasted marshmallow, kind of the, the nougat from a candy bar. A little bit of spice to counterbalance it, very well balanced. It's not overly sweet like a 1910 or from Old Forester or like a Woodford Reserve Double Oak. To me, those are very, very desserty. This is on the desserty end of the spectrum, but still very, very well balanced doesn't compete. Now this one, we're jumping in price. We're going up to $40 on this. This is a uh, Wild Turkey Russell's uh, 10 year. This thing coming in at 90 proof. So it's a little on the low proof side, but frankly, most of these are either 100 proof or 90 proof. Now this is, uh, you know, it's, it's a great bottle. This Russell's Reserve is fantastic. On the palate, it's well balanced. It's thick, it's gooey, it's syrupy. Even at 90 proof, it's got a nice, kind of presence in the mouth, a little bit of a berryness in the mouth, some nice vanillas, a little bit of frosting kind of aspect to it. Also, there's a little bit of an oakiness and there's a nice counterbalance of spice and just a very, very faint little bit of a uh, little bit of kind of a, a little bit of a peanut, very mild though. But even as good as this is for $40, this doesn't compare either. Now you may think I'm going to go through every bottle in the speakeasy, but really I'm having to limit myself for stuff that's around $40 or less to even be competitive with this bottle. This, 
Elijah Craig Small Batch. This is coming in at 94 proof. This was a pick by the uh, Virginia ABC, uh, but it's still very, very nice bottle. It was fairly inexpensive here in Virginia, right around $40. You can probably get yours a little bit cheaper if you get your standard non-picked one. This one has a little bit of that Heaven Hill Nutty profile, a little bit of a musty barrel, this really, really nice kind of caramel with some, uh, with some honey, and just a very, very faint bit of spice to counterbalance that, just a little bit of baking spices. Great mouthfeel for a small batch. Just a very nice, pleasant honey sweetness. A little bit of baking spice, like I said, and for like the the entry level Elijah Craig from Heaven Hill, this is a great, great bottle. And you know, getting you can get these right around thirty two, thirty five dollars most places. You know, prices vary, all that thing. Whole disclaimer there, but uh, great, great bottle, great price. Doesn't hold a candle to this new one. Here we've got the Heaven Hill bottle and the Bond. I've loved these things. These things are fantastic. Now I got this bottle down in Georgia for forty three dollars. Now I know a lot of you say you can't get it for even $60 where you live. So this is seven year age stated, uh, Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond, great, great bottle. I've raved about this bottle in the past. The Elijah Craig here came in at 94 proof. This is coming in bottled bond at 100 proof. So you're getting a little bit more spice on the nose, a little bit of a mustiness, a little bit of a caramel, some nice honey notes on this, just a touch of floral ever so faintly. On the palate, it's warm, it's balanced. Just delicious, beautiful, thick kind of honey, a little bit of vanilla, you know, touches of caramel notes that you get on most bourbons. And then there's a very nice warming aspect to it. A uh, little bit of a, a touch of a, a touch of a, a little bit of a cereal grain, very mild, very palatable. This is a very, very nice bottle. But even this one doesn't hold a flame, a candle to this, this new bottle. Man, I'm running out of options that are just fantastic, legendary bottles under $40. And I know I didn't put it up against every one of them, but I'm just saying, these are some great, great bottles here. I mean, I didn't do Wild Turkey 101, but I did the Russell's 10, which I think is, honestly, it's a better bottle. It's a little more expensive. Wild Turkey 101 is higher proof, less expensive, whatever. Uh, but that being said, you know, I couldn't put it up against everyone. The video would last forever. Uh, but I got two bottles left that I want to share with you. Next, Eagle Rare. Standard Eagle Rare. This is not a store pick. This is the standard one. Beautiful, delicious notes. Everybody knows and loves Eagle Rare. On the nose, it's getting all kinds of berry notes. Deep, deep caramels. A little bit of char. A little bit of barrel. I mean, it's pretty, you know, if you've had Eagle Rare, you know what I'm talking about. It's just kind of a legend. If you've never had it, it's a solid bottle. You can get them, if you can get them for $40 near retail, retail's around $35 to $40 most places. If you can get it for that price, they're legendary, fantastic. Anything under 60, I would say for Eagle Rare is a buy if you've never had it. Above that, it's probably not worth it, uh, unless you just want to reach up there and grab one so you can say you've tried it. Delicious raspberry jam. It's a little thin at 90 proof. Wish this came in a little bit higher proof, but uh, they the Buffalo Trace may have done some stuff to to fix that lower proof problem on uh, Eagle Rare. Hint, hint. Now this is. Uh, like I said, 10 years age stated, you do get a little bit of those char notes, getting a little bit of like a, a chocolatey nugget along with those, that raspberry jam. Delicious, delicious bottle of whiskey. And as much as I love Eagle Rare, I'm going to have to say this new bottle, I think it beats Eagle Rare. Last of the competitors I'm going to pull out tonight is a new one that I found not long ago. This is Wheel Horse. This is a single barrel store pick, four years uh, age stated coming in at 118.8 proof. The standard releases of this will start around 32, 35. The store picks probably are in the range of 50, but they're worth it. I am just an absolute fan of Wheel Horse now, particularly uh, the store picks of theirs. On the nose, it's like a sweet strawberry, whipped cream, a little bit of sponge cake. It's literally like a strawberry shortcake in a glass there's the proofiness is there but it's not at all an inhibition or something that you wouldn't like just a tinge of tinge of alcohol burn with that four years absolutely delicious but nose uh, nosing though strawberry syrup with some nice oak notes the proof spice comes through after a few seconds balances out those sweet notes delicious delicious Little bit of baking spice. This thing is fantastic. If you haven't tried one of these wheel horses, holy crap, give it a try because these things are fantastic. 
And as much as I love this one and the proof presence, that 118 proof, even with that in a 50-ish, say, 30 to $50 bottle, depending on your area and what bottle you're picking, all that stuff, still doesn't, doesn't compete with this other bottle. This new bottle truly has changed my world. Y'all are probably sitting around saying, damn, I've watched this video for 10 minutes and the bastard on the screen still hasn't told me what this is. And the only reason I'm swearing, I apologize for the swearing, is this bottle is that freaking good. This thing changes the game. Benchmark full freaking proof. Coming in at, what is this, 125 proof Buffalo Trace? Holy crap, what in the heck are they doing? For 20, 22, $25? How can you beat that? You can't. It's impossible. I'm telling you. This is one ring to rule them all. I'm getting delicious barrel, some nice Buffalo Trace berryness. Comes across as like a light strawberry jam to me. Little bit of a uh, little bit of honey. Some floral notes as well as that berryness. Holy crap, 125 proof doesn't I mean you knows it. Smells maybe 105, 110 proof at most. Delicious effervescent tingle on the back of my tongue. Holy crap, it's like a berry explosion in my mouth. Delicious char notes. My mouth is just salivating. This thing is so freaking good. For $20, $25, this is otherworldly. I'm not sure what Buffalo Trace was thinking because this is a game changer. This is the most overpowered bourbon. I've ever come across. It is like a proofed up Eagle Rare because with that density of, of flavors at the 125 proof, you start to pick up some of the barrel quality that it takes 10 years to get at the 90 proof Eagle Rare. When you sip it, it does not come across as 125 proof. This thing, if I didn't know what it was and I was doing it blind, I'd probably say it's 100, 105 proof. Super easy to sip on, very accessible, even for beginners. Fancy screw top. You guys see how fancy the screw top is? Look at this thing, man. That way you don't have to mess with the cork. Trying to pop those corks can be tricky sometimes. Now, since I started this channel, I've always tried to find the best values in bourbon and share those with you because I know as much as we love some of our expensive Buffalo Traces and Michters and Jack Daniels and whatever other expensive balls I got behind me, not everybody can afford them. And frankly, sometimes it's not fun to buy those bottles because they're so expensive. And you can't just sip on them because you don't want to, you know, run through them too fast. And at various points, all of these other bottles up here have been on that list for me. They've been super, you know, inexpensive and deliciously sippable. Great desserty notes. Complex, well-balanced, all these things. And then Buffalo Trace in this Benchmark Foolproof comes along, changes the game. If you ended up enjoying this video, please smash that like button. If you haven't tried Benchmark Full Proof, give it a shot. I know there's bench, Benchmark Top Floor and a bunch of other ones they came out with that are supposedly pretty solid too, but this Buffalo Trace accessible, inexpensive offering is straight up the most overpowered bourbon in the game. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend you do. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and until next time, find a bottle you love.